What's up, team? So today, you guys, I want to talk to you about five ways. Five ways to keep him interested. to keep your man of God interested or I know men are watching this too so you want to keep your woman of God interested but number one look good look nice initially when you guys met you had some attraction there right you were attracted to the person but it seemed like maybe perhaps over time that person probably let themselves go or maybe you had children and uh the wife stopped doing her hair or stopped wearing heels or stopped wearing certain clothes. So in order to keep your person interested, to keep your spouse interested, or the person you're in courtship interested, is to look good. Look good. Take some time out and exercise. Exercise. Um, to keep it tight. Keep it right. Right? Uh, to keep... Uh, everything sucked in and lifted and poking out, you know, exercise to keep, um, you know, your, your muscles tone, you know, um, you know, exercise, eat, eat right. I know sometimes when you get married now, I'm, I'm so guilty of this. You guys, I gained like 20 pounds, I guess, happy married weight, right? So everybody keep telling me happy married weight. Uh, but I felt kind of, some kind of way about uh, for me because I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't been this size since high school, you know, and I done had two kids after that and I still went back down. And so what I did was just kind of eat. I had to change my eating uh, habits, you know, I can't eat everything that babe want me to cook for him, you know, even though I can taste a little bit, but yeah. But anyways, so if you eat certain things, you know, you have to exercise or eat it in moderation. You, you can't let yourself go. So look nice, look nice. All right, look good, look good. You know, put on some makeup from time to time. You know, uh, do your hair, get your hair done. Shave, groom yourself, all right, shave. You know, I'm talking to married couples. You know, your man wants to feel some smooth skin. He wants to smell, uh, feel some skin that's smooth, all right? He doesn't want to feel like a grizzly. He don't want to feel a grizzly bear woman. He don't want to feel that. All right, so take the time and look nice. Shave. Put on, you know, uh, just different things. Um, women, you got to invest in certain outfits for just for the house, just to have around the house, you know, not things that you wear to church, you know, the grocery store, just for him, for his eyes only. Amen? So look nice. It's okay to look nice, right? For your your, your, your spouse. Because you want to keep them interested. You uh, want to give them something nice to look at, all right? You're looking good not only uh, for your spouse, but unto God, all right? So keep yourself up because guess what? Your body is God's temple. Amen? Like, I put on makeup sometimes unto the Lord, right? So, look nice. Keep that person interested. Keep them interested, all right? Don't let yourself fall apart. The second thing to keep your spouse interested is smell good. Smell good. Now, I'm big on smells. Babe, my babe is too. He loves when I put on perfume and... He, for Christmas, he brought me like five or six things of perfume. Like, so I got a whole bunch of perfume, a whole bunch of smells, you know? So I'm just basking up in this uh, fragrance. It sm smell good. There's nothing worse than getting close to somebody and like breath is kicking, you know? Uh, make sure your hygiene is up, all right? Because remember, somebody else is evading your space and 
you want that person all over you so take extra time in the morning if you gotta brush your teeth two times if you gotta you know swish your mouthwash two times do that all right if you got to uh invest in like uh you know mints pop some mints here and there all right pop mints um put on some deodorant if you know your deodorant runs out and it may cause you to be a little bit musty you step it up you step it up you know you want to be smelling good all right so it's nothing it's, it's a beautiful thing when you look good and smell good Woo! that person gonna be really interested because you want to walk in the room and they be like baby babe what you got on babe you know smell good get a person uh, an aroma to smell like mm, you smell good you know yeah so keep the keep them interested keep them interested you know um by smelling good you know take some time to make sure everything is good hygiene wise the third thing to keep the person interested a man flirt flirt Flirting goes a long way. I flirt with babes, babe with my eyes, you know. I flirt with my eyes. I like bet my eyes, you know. Look at him some kind of way, just like when we were courting. Uh, when he was doing photo shoots of me, uh, I would pretend like the camera is my boyfriend or something, so I would flirt with it, like you know. It just, <laughs> yeah. So the same way I was flirting with the camera, I flirt with my my husband. So flirt. All right, flirting goes a long way. You can flirt so many different ways. Put love notes, um, you know, in, in your wife's makeup bag or in, in your wife's dashboard, dashboard of her car or, you know, what me and babe do, we text each other, um, you know, give like kisses and hearts and I love you and, you know, just flirt. Like, you're so fine, you look good, you're special things like that just flirt that's part of keeping it spicy many people uh many married couples they stop flirting they get they get bored with each other when time goes on and just like no you gotta flirt like man uh hold hands and you know caress one another hug one another you know rub that man's back hey man men rub your woman's feet when she get off of work stuff like that run a bubble bath for one another things like that amen the next thing number four to keep your spouse interested is guess what take an interest in what they like take an interest in what they like you know for for example I don't know anything about photography only than what babe told me but I am taking an interest in it. Everything he likes, I'm taking an interest in it. Amen? Because I don't want my husband going to another woman and being best friends with her and they have a, a common link of photography. You know, like, no. I, you know, come to me about that stuff. I, I want to learn about that. So take an interest in that. All right, if, if, whether if, if your man likes sports, you better start liking some sports, sweetie. Amen? If he likes boxing or art or music whatever it is cooking take an interest in that amen and this is a, a way of bonding and a way of you sharing moments together together and uh building memories you know uh so take an interest in what he does you know you don't want to be a stranger uh in in the same house You, you don't want to be a stranger in, in the same house with your uh, spouse. Take an interest. Take an interest in what, what they do. All right, now, I guarantee you, you know, you're going to be like, babe, or she's going to be like, babe, come on, let's do this. Oh, our show coming on, or, oh, let's do this. You know, the fifth thing to keep your spouse interested is date. To date. The next thing to keep your spouse interested is, is to date. When, when was the last time you you guys dated? You went on a date. You know, I know sometimes finances probably might be an issue. Why you can't go out on as much date as possible. But 
you can date for free, you could date for cheap, you can have movie nights at home, you can uh, put up YouTube, a movie on YouTube and pop some popcorn and watch a movie on YouTube or Netflix and, you know, watch something you like, date, spend time with each other, talk to one another, you know, spend, look in each other's eyes and just remember, you know, why you got together and how much you love and cherish this person. Date. Date. You know, um, you know, if you can't afford to go out to a restaurant, you know, and dress up, why don't you dress up at home? Put on that nice dress at home, those heels at home, put on that suit at home, that, 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 that tux at home, you know, send the kids away, uh, find a babysitter, pull out the candles, and have a nice candlelight dinner at home, you know, you can, plenty of foods, uh, that me and babe did, you know, we dated, uh, at home and we of course I made spaghetti something he liked and we had the candle lights going on like that you know date you know go out to a movie plan it like invest in a date you know out outside of home you know like okay once a month you know me may be on a budget right now but once a month we're gonna go to the movies and we're gonna go out to dinner so I'm gonna put like $60 or $70 aside just to date you just to court you, just to take you out somewhere to make you feel special. Date. Dating. You know, it goes a long way. You actually look forward to dating. You actually look forward like, man, you know, have fun. It's, it's going to keep the longevity in you guys' relationship. To keep them interested, right? You don't want your man or you want your woman to lose interest in you. You don't want that, right? The next thing uh, to keep them interested is to have fun have fun you know sometimes in life this is going to be some challenges it's going to be ups and downs um you know but the end of the day to keep that person interested you know have fun with them and and laugh and joke amen because it may be tough right now but i promise you you will look back on the situation you're going through, amen, with your uh, your spouse, your companion, and you will be able to laugh about it. Like, yeah, I remember that. Just just have fun about it. You know, stop being uptight. Uh, don't allow stress and things that pop up, obstacles and hindrances to cause a strain on your relationship. Have fun. And, and, and tell the person, like, hey, we're in this together, you know, do through thick and thin right we are in this together all right so these are some of the things that you guys can do to keep your your, your spouse interested you can keep them interested all right you better look good amen you take those um those granny panties off amen talking to women on here amen and invest in you something give that man something to look at all right um smell nice amen uh, you, you shouldn't be smelling like an, an ocean you should not be smelling like an ocean um you know flirt come on now you did it when you was courting why stop while you're dating or why stop while you're married right take an interest in them you like i said before you did it while you was courting why stop now after i do you know have fun with them have fun amen put a smile on and hold hold your spouse hand and say baby to death do us part all right team i pray that you enjoyed this teaching